And now, Doug Ford's Sexual Education Curriculum presents Ready for Steady, a guide to your budding body. Meet Bobby. He's 15 years old and he has a strange new problem. His body is going through changes. Gee whiz, the way these fellas draw Wonder Woman makes me feel all funny and tingly. I couldn't agree more, son. Who said that? Relax, Bobby. I'm just here to talk to you about your budding body. You're going through changes, and those feelings you get from Wonder Woman's ample bosoms are perfectly normal. Oh, gee, that's a relief. But what are they? Tell me, Bobby. Do you ever have these feelings about girls at school? Oh, sure, all the time. Especially when the gals from the cheerleading squad put on those knee-high socks. But those feelings aren't wrong. Of course not. There's nothing wrong with boys and girls having feelings for one another. But if you had these feelings for other boys, well, we'd be having a very different conversation. I don't. There's a good lad. Now, girls have these feelings too, and eventually you and a special lady friend are going to want to respond to those urges by doing what the adults call going steady. Say, I heard about that. My pa has all these magazines he won't let me look at that show a bunch of people going steady while other folks take pictures of them. Oh, but cheapers, mister. Going steady sure sounds like a scary grown-up thing. Is it hard? I'm glad you asked, Bobby. Tell you what. Pick a girl. Any girl. Well, I have always wanted to ask out Sue Ellen Finkel. She's got real pretty eyes and games till Tuesday. Well then, let's invite her into the conversation. Jumping Jiminy, where am I? You're going through changes, just like Bobby here. And watch it with that potty mouth, young lady. Bobby Anderson? <laughs> Golly! Hi, Sue Ellen! Bobby, do you want to take this lovely lady to the ice cream social? I sure do, mister. Then that's all that matters. Congratulations! You two are now officially a happy couple. Uh, but I didn't say- I said you two are now officially a happy couple. Now, you run along and have a good time. I'll check back in on you later. Well, we're back. How was the ice cream social, kids? Oh, it was swell, mister. I sure am glad you forced me to go along with this, because I had the time of my life. We held hands next to the pinball machine for almost five minutes. But- Bobby and I still have these urges to touch each other, and we would really like to act on them. That means you're ready to go steady. Now, do either of you know what to do next? Well, I heard from the gals in my mom's typing pool that I'm supposed to take Bobby's thingy and put it in my special place. That's exactly correct, Sue Ellen. But first, you two need to get married. Better. Now we won't burn in hell for sleeping in the same bed. Congratulations. You have just completed the sacred romantic union between man and woman. The only kind of romantic union there ever has been or ever will be. Despite what those unwashed lefty hippies might have you believe. Now we can have a real grown-up relationship just like mom and pop. I'll go to work at the factory and bring home a nice fat paycheck. Oh, and when you come home, you'll have a nice hot dinner waiting for you because I'll have spent the majority of my day in the kitchen where I belong. <laughs> you'll speak only when spoken to from now on, honey. Now you know everything you need to know about going steady. And it's all thanks to Doug Ford's informative new curriculum. But, Mr. Narrator, what about the $100 million fund Doug Ford cut that was supposed to go towards fixing dilapidated schools? And what about the wind turbine venture that Ford cut after 10 years of construction that's gonna end up costing folks another 100000 in taxes? Uh... You just let the smart folks in government handle all those pesky numbers. All you two should be focusing on is starting up a family and making some beautiful, healthy taxpayer. I mean, livestock. I mean, babies. And if you hear any more news stories like that in the future, you should probably just ignore them. Golly, Sue Ellen, 
After everything I've learned today, I'm readier than I ever was to go steady with you. You betcha, Bobby. And because Dr. Ford's curriculum didn't teach me anything about consent, I'm ready too. Whether I like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> She sure is. Ready for Steady has been brought to you by Premier Doug Ford. The PC government, one step forward, 12 steps back.